Can a fan save your roof? Hi, I'm TJ from Eco Elements, and today we're gonna talk about proper ventilation inside of an attic space. This is a 35 year architectural shingled roof. Now, unfortunately, this roof is roughly 12 years old. We're already starting to see some fraying and some loss of granules on the shingle not even halfway through the shingle life. Now, if we do not ventilate this space properly, we will lose up to a third of the shingle life that this roof is designed to last. So on a 35 year shingle, naturally that means you're not gonna get nearly as much life out of it. Traditionally, airflow inside of your attic space is passive. What that means is the air comes in that soffit down near the eave, up near the top, we either have turtle vents, we have whirlybirds, or we have what's called a ridge cap or a ridge vent. Now those are all traditionally designed to be passive airflow. What that means is when the wind's hitting your house, it's gonna shove that air into there and it's gonna vent out the top. When it comes to that, that's inadequate, unfortunately. There's a better design and there's a better way to approach that. That's with positive airflow rather than passive. The way that we accomplish that is with the solar fan. That solar fan's job is to move the air and recycle it inside that attic roughly 30 to 40 times a day, lowering the temperature. The reason this premature shingle failure happens is because the temperature inside of the attic is too hot. We're now overcooking the shingles on your home from the inside of the attic as well as the outside. With active airflow, we can lower that temperature, protect the lifespan of that roof, and make sure it lasts as long as it's designed to. For more tips and tricks on how to make your home more energy efficient, follow EcoElements on Facebook, as well as YouTube and Instagram.